you know, don't don't leave Islam yet. Let us give you more chance. Let us say, let us see if maybe there is something left is good in this religion. Give me something else. Give me an example. Forget about this. Oh, did you hear about the flying carpet as an example in the Quran? The the flying carpet. Yeah, the same chapter speaking about. <laughs> you did not hear about Wait. the flying carpet? No, I've never heard of <laughs> such a thing. Can, can you show me where he says that? Okay, if we go in the Quran, it says that Allah He gave His prophet Sulaiman the power to control of his flying carpet. So the flying carpet that He ordered, He ordered the. Uh, wait, is this from the wait? Is this from the Quran or where? How did you get Quran, this? Quran, the Quran, chapter twenty-one, verse number eighty-one. Okay, let me chapter, write this down. Chapter eighty-one, chapter twenty-one, verse number eighty-one. And okay. I will show you the interpretation, so you will not say I'm making things up. You know, uh, did, did you hear about Ibn Kathir before? No, nah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that much. I'm. I just do basically what I've been told and things. So okay. um, I'm not. I'm not really. Okay, let us read the interpretation of the story, so you will not say I'm making things up. If we go in chapter 21, verse number 81, here we go. This is the official government of the Kingdom of Jordan. This is government website. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Al Jalalain is a big well known scholar in Islam and he has explained the verse. And we disposed for Suleiman the wind to blow strongly. In other verse, it describe it as uh, uh, to blow softly. Okay. In other words, it's either blowing violently, gently, respectively, according to what Suleiman wanted. So it's up to him. He ordered the wind, making its way at his command to the land which he, we have blessed, namely Syria, and we have knowledge of all things. Let's show you more interpretation. Okay, and also we made a command to the etc. Actually, here it doesn't show really much. Let me show you Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir give more details. All of those are Islamic website, one hundred percent. Read with me. Is the screen coming? Yeah, it is coming. Okay, and to Suleiman we subjugated the wind strongly. Ragging means we subjugated strong wind to Suleiman. Okay, now he said he had a mate. Or mat, sorry, made of wood in which would place all the equipment of his kingship, horses, camels, tents, and troops. Then he would command the wind to carry it. And he would go underneath it, and it would carry him aloft, shading him and protecting him from the heat until he reached whenever he wanted to go of the land. All right. So the business for the carpet, isn't it? Sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't see the word carpet there. It says mat. mat. Do you see the mat? You see the mat? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad, bad. yeah. So the wind go under the mat and carry it. And what he have in the mat? He have his equipment, his army. It's not a flying carpet like Alibaba carry only one or two, you know, or something bad. It carry the whole kingdom. His, his, actually in the in the Arabic it says the carpet can fit for six hundred thousand chairs. Plus all the tents, plus all the soldiers, plus all the camels, plus all the horses, plus all the food, plus all the animals, all are flying in one mat, and they fly from in a distance of one mouth in each blow. But wait, wait, where did you get these um, interpretations from? This is Ibn Kathir, my friend. I can send you a link if you wish. Um, yes, please. I will, I will, I will give it to you in Skype later. When we finish, you can click on it and you can read. And again, and again, by the way, the English translation is full of lies. You want to laugh more? Read the Arabic one. The Arabic one is more hilarious. In English, they try always to cover the madness and stupidity. You know? And in the same, here we go, it says, its morning was a month journey, and its afternoon was a month, which means journey. And not only that, Suleiman, Allah, he gave him the power of, uh, of uh, uh, to control shayateen. And what the shayateen they do? They dive for him to bring him rubies, to bring him diamonds from the ocean. I mean, this guy, he is in control of everything. You know, he don't, uh, this is why he was very rich. And then it says, and also of shaitan, every kind of builder. Here we go. He have a shaitan who is engineer in building. And they built for him synagogue. 
And not only that, they build for him statues and icons and palaces. Shaitan, he don't hire a construction a construction company. He have the Shaitan himself building for him. Shaitan and his family, all of them, they work for him. And then the one who or disobey him, uh, or he don't he don't have work. Uh, Suleiman, he he put chains on them. You know, he he chained them. Okay, so if you say 